So I, I'm an immensely intolerant customer. I, I, I'm very intolerant of poor customer experience. And uh, I, I regularly email, call, and if necessary, tweet uh, uh, about bad experiences. Uh, and what's really interesting is to see how organizations respond to that. So I had an, uh, an incident recently where I tweeted about it. Um, and actually, the, I got a very bland, well, please call our customer service center, um, which was ironic because I was in an area where I couldn't actually make any calls. I was only on Wi-Fi. Um, and therefore, I felt very let down. In terms of great customer experience, um, they're generally not that memorable because what customers remember are bad experiences, not good experience. And the whole thing about delivering great customer experience is about not being bad. So I can probably remember more the number of times where something went wrong and it got fixed than where it was great in the first place. And it's when it goes wrong and gets fixed that you remember the most. Um, not speaking about one of my own, but if I think about uh, Sainsbury's, uh, we had an incident recently where uh, one of our online delivery drivers uh, went to make delivery, uh, saw that there was smoke coming out of the house he's delivering to, kicked the door down, got the lady out of the house, um, uh, because it actually turned out that he was also a part-time firefighter. Um, but for me, that's an example of great customer service. It's when we empower um, the people who actually make the deliveries, who are frontline with the customers, whether that's in the call center uh, or on the front door, to go beyond what's being asked of them and deliver those magic moments. And that, for me, is what great customer experience is.